Now this. General Mark Milley is warning that terrorist groups could quickly gain ground in Afghanistan. Jamil Jaffer is with us. He's the founder of the National Security Institute. Jamil, is Afghanistan now terrorist central? Well, Stuart, I think it's uh, really a problem. I think obviously the Taliban um, have come to power now. We've got al-Qaeda and ISIS likely to return to the region. And it's a huge problem because we saw what they did in the lead up to 9-11. We saw them give uh, Osama bin Laden a home base to operate and plot the 9-11 plots against our country. And so it's a deep concern that they may very well do that again. But is it just out of Afghanistan? I mean, are they going to be sending terrorist operatives to other parts of the world now that they've got a secure home base? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a very real possibility that they will operate not just against the United States at home, as they did on 9-11, uh, but against our allies in Europe and against Americans around the globe. Remember, Stuart, there are still 10 to 15,000 Americans still in country in Afghanistan, not all of whom we're re we, are, we are prepared yet to get out. The president committed to it last night. It's not clear that we will get all those people out by the president's date certain on August 31st. All right, Jamil, the president is going to be speaking at one o'clock Eastern time this afternoon. He will address Afghanistan, we believe. What do you want to hear from him? I want to take responsibility for the decisions he's made, the precipitous withdrawal that has taken place, and the fact that that is where, why where we are right now. He's blamed a lot of people, President Trump, President Bush, the Afghan, is, the Afghan people themselves as though they would fight for their own country, even though they've lost over 60,000 people in this conflict. And he needs to take responsibility for bring, making sure every single last American citizen, every U.S. person, and frankly, every Afghan ally that follow alongside us is able to come out of the country and be safe in this post uh, environment where the Taliban have taken over in, uh, in, in Afghanistan. Look, if you really want to get every single American out, you've got to stay in Afghanistan longer than August 31st. And you've probably got to be prepared to put our troops in combat action. They've got to break out of the cordon and go get our Americans and bring them to the airport like the British and the French are doing. That's what, he, that's what it would take, isn't it? That's exactly right, Stuart. And here's the bottom line. The President of the United States has one core responsibility, and that is protecting Americans wherever they are. If that means putting troops in the field, going and getting people out of their homes and bringing them to the airport, that's what we should be doing. The fact that the President hasn't committed to that yet is outrageous. He needs to make that commitment and make it happen immediately. And I think, Stuart, it needs to extend not just on American citizens, but those people who literally fought alongside our soldiers, interrogated Taliban and ISIS and all kind of detainees. Those Afghans are essentially Americans for the purpose of this problem, and the president needs to commit to them, too. Jamil Jaffa, all of us will be watching at 1 o'clock this afternoon to see exactly what the president says. Thanks for being here, sir. Appreciate it. Coming up. Thanks, Stuart.